Hello again my fellow summoners my name is still burning sun, and this is 10 more things I hate in League of Legends. First thing, look at my match history, you say things like let me mid I'm the best mid ever or I go afk look my match history new. No. But in your match history there is one good game where you got fed, but before that game all you did was feed and go afk. Everyone has good games and sometimes a very very good match history, but match history and scores don't mean shit. Maybe you just got carried by your team or just have a team filled with monkeys against you. Number 2. Blaming the jungler for losing your lane, or the game. First of all, the jungler's job is not to win your damn lane, or get ganks to everyone all the time. If you think you lost your lane, because of your jungler then you are an idiot. I get it if your jungler actually is really bad and dies in your lane multiple times and does not help you when you are in trouble, I get it. But if you go 0 and 6 in your lane, because you don't ward and you don't play safe and just die all the time then please, do not flame your fucking jungler. Number 3, Promades. Oh yes, we all hate that bot lane that spams in champion select omg we are Promade bot with swagster 12 and super cod player 1995, and then feed hard. Let's say that they are both last pick and do not allow others to go ADC or support, because they think that if they are Bramade they have the right over other players to go where they want, and if you don't allow them to go there they will both troll, because they are Bramade. And the worst thing about pre-mades is that if one of them flames then the other will flame as well, so there will be two kids flaming the innocent jungler for fail ganks, when in reality they were the one who fed the lane so hard and failed so hard that it's ungankable anyway. Don't get me wrong, there are some really good pre-mades as well, but that's usually in higher elo. Number 4, when everyone is from the same country except me, and they all speak in their language, and then no one communicates with me. So it's like whatever I say or ask no one answers, but there is exceptions sometimes, which is great. Number 5. Flaming others for your mistakes, like let's say you go 1 vs 5 and die and you're like, yo wtf my team not helping me, or that you die in enemy jungle, and say noobs up no ward. But in reality you know that it was your fault, but you just don't want to admit it to yourself and others, because you are a stuck up asshole. Number 6. 1v1 me noob I'll wreck your cunt you fucking faggot. Okay so you died and someone tells you not to feed and you slip out and 1 to 1 versus 1 with them. But after the agree you say, no I have no time for a noob like you. Why don't you just calm the fuck down and go back to Call of Duty you kid. Number 7. GG lost surrender at 20. You are in champion select and you say surrender at 20. Fuck you mate. The game has not even started yet and you already say surrender. And in game if you die once or lose your lane then you say surrender at 20. Shut the hell up. Just because you failed doesn't mean we have to surrender. Number 8. Honor please. Why would you want honor if you lost the game while all you did was flame 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 and flame your team? I would give you honor. If you would have had a good attitude. And if you would have not flamed your team and played well. Just because you think that if your score is 7-6. Then you should have been honored. Then I think you still have a lot to learn. Number 9 flaming lanes that are losing. For an example if there is a cannon in mid and he start flaming the top lane for losing his lane and for having the score of 0-1. Then he is pissing off everybody and also making himself mad. Like the mid lane is 2-0 and he think he is the king of the world but 0-1 as top is not really bad. Because someone has to lose their lane. It's not like your team is always going to win every lane so get used to it. And if you flame for someone giving away first blood then you are a toxic player. Because first blood happens in every game and it's only one goddamn death. So why the fuck do you flame for one death it really does not change the game so much and the game has not even really started. Number 10. I'm a smurf. We all know that you really aren't a smurf. Because no one in diamondella would come to bronze and say I go mid or afk smurf 10k lo diamond 1. We all know that you are just a kid that is last pick and wants to get mid so badly that he lies. God damn at least if you say that you are a smurf fucking act like one. So maybe we even believe that you are. Anyways, thank you for watching. Oh and also thank you for 400 subscribers. It's not that much but for me it means something. Bye.